A family in Bean Station is mourning the loss of their dog, Riley. They blame his death on a bite from a tick. Tonight, they're warning other pet owners about the big risks tied to those tiny bugs. 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan spoke to the family and a veterinarian who says this problem is only getting worse. He loved this little outfit. The Davidsons took their dog, Riley, everywhere. They liked to ride in the car. He loved going camping with us. The seven-year-old pup was part of the family. I love him just like you would love a human. They never thought a tick bite would take him away. I never imagined that a little tiny tick could cause so much damage and be life-threatening. They spotted the tick a couple weeks before and didn't think much of it. We had seen ticks on do other dogs before. But it turns out he got Rocky Mountain spotted fever and Lyme disease. And it got so bad that we ended up syringe feeding him baby food just to give him some nutrition. His liver began to fail. Watching him sort of dwindle away and just kind of go slowly and knowing we really were doing everything we could, but it wasn't enough. Riley died when his family was at church one day in June. Tick diseases are scary stuff. Dr. Kathy Bridges says tick diseases are on the rise in East Tennessee. Our winters haven't gotten cold enough, long enough to kill off ticks. Normally, the diseases respond well to antibiotics, but Bridges says proper preventative medication can make all the difference. There is nothing that we can do to our pets to prevent the fleas and ticks from jumping on shy of putting them in a coat of armor. But the goal is to prevent disease transmission. I cannot believe that something that small could do that much damage. A tiny bite that can cause a huge loss. Cole Sullivan, WBIR 10 News. And the doctor we heard from there says ticks can pass on a disease in only two hours and you should start checking your pets after they spent time outside. That's a must and your vet can help you choose the best flea and tick preventatives.